What's up everyone, in today's vlog, we reveal what is believed to be the C8 mid-engine Corvette's Nürburgring time. What's going on YouTube? My name is D and welcome once again to D's Rides, the channel with vlogs, how to's, as well as car reviews. We are just under a week away from my contest giveaway ending and me announcing the winners. I will once again place the link at the top of this video as well as down in the description below for you to get all of the details. Once again, all you need to do is comment on that video as well as be a subscriber to the channel and you are entered. So lately, news coming out of some automotive resources have not been very reliable. Most notably news from Motor Trend, the debunked C8 dyno results, which was quickly labeled as being untrue, as well as the story they reported about the new C8 being sold out has left many of us car enthusiasts a little skeptical of what is now being reported about automobiles. One of the sources that quickly jumped out and disputed Motor Trend's assertions about the dyno results, as well as it was one of the first publications to report about the C8 having different hybrid engines, Muscle car and trucks are betting their reputation of putting out reliable, incredible information has leaked that they have learned what the C8's ring time is. And that time is 7.28.30. That time was reportedly to be achieved by Corvette racing team's Oliver Gavin. Of course, over the past year and some change, we've seen pictures and video of the C8 testing at the Nürburgring. We even reported here on the channel about such appearances as well. Many car manufacturers treat their ring lap times as closely regarded secrets. This is unless they break some sort of course record, then they magically appear. Great success. With the C7 Corvette times, those were released once GM's ride and handling engineer Jim Merrill retired and posted them in several publications. The S next to the times stands for segment times. What these times represent are the times at different segments on the track that are added up to give a representation of the overall track time, all things being equal. There was some controversy over the track time for the C7ZR1 as Merrill stated that he was forced to start out on cold tires which affected his run. He stated his segmented time was six minutes and 57 seconds, but the lap time of his actual run was seven minutes and four seconds. Had his segmented time come to fruition, he would have set the world record time for an American sports car, which is held by the Viper ACR at seven minutes and one second. As our friends at Corvette Blogger put it, assuming they, muscle car and truck, are correct, that lap time does seem to be consistent for the C8's 495 horsepower LT2 as compared to the C7Z51's 465 horsepower LT1 engine. At 7.28.30, the time slots just between the Stingray and Grand Sports time as stated by Merrill. It's also consistent with the comments from Corvette Chief Engineer Taj Juchter who said on Autoline that lap times will be between one and two seconds faster for the C8 versus the C7. So why is there so much emphasis put on Nürburgring times? Running one lap all out at the Nürburgring North Loop is an extremely daunting and monumental task in its own right. With the extreme speed and the sheer variety of corners, it's believed to be an automobile's true test of handling, brakes, and performance. Its size also makes it easy to see differences from car to car and even run to run. A shorter track may have cars separated by fractions of a second, but almost all the top 10 lap records at Nürburgring have full seconds between them. 
The problem with the Nürburgring times is that the ring times are not regulated by an independent third party such as a governing body, and this is at the root of the controversy. Normally for manufacturers to claim a lap time, all they have to do is either provide video footage or currently data logging as evidence. However, authorities basically take the manufacturer's word for it. Manufacturer lap times have come into question by experts because such car specifications include sometimes additional undeclared items such as special tires that can provide an unfair advantage over other manufacturers. In addition, some of the drivers may well be top professionals. To take it a step further, many out there no longer trust the manufacturers, confirmed by scenarios such as Volkswagen's Dieselgate. The Nürburgring has gone by many names over the years. Famous race car driver Jackie Stewart nicknamed it the Green Hell, owing its difficulty and its luscious greenery through which the track flows. Its real name has always been Nürburgring and it actually has a very simple meaning. The track itself encircles the castle of Nürburgring in the Eiffel Mountains of Germany. The name is literally a ring of the famous castle. Other names associated with the circuit include Nordschleifen or North Loop, Südschleifen or South Loop, and Gesamtstrecke or Whole Course. The South Loop was largely destroyed to make way for the Grand Prix circuit with modern racing standards, which shares a very small portion of the North Loop's track. As such, if you hear Nuremberg in relation to F1 or other forms of racing, then they are largely talking about the Grand Prix circuit. If you hear it in regards to car testing, they typically are referring to the Green Hell itself, Nordschleifen. The difficulty of the Nürburgring North Loop comes largely by the way of its sheer size, the number of corners, and its speed. The current North Loop is nearly 13 miles long and has a total of 154 turns. This coupled with a large number of elevation changes throughout the track has made it almost impossible for drivers to memorize. So everybody, what do you think about the Nürburgring times? Make sure you post that in the comments below. So everybody, as always, that's all I have time for today. Make sure you go ahead and check out the video that has been linked at the beginning of this video to get all the information on my giveaway. Once again, it is over on December 25th. At that time, I'll put out a video naming the winners. And as always, everybody, if you like this video, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you like the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And as always, everyone, remember, everyone deployed. And I'm out.